Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MedSign Apps Specialist Podcast Series. I'm your host, Dr. Nigar, and in today's episode, we will be discussing various treatment modalities and their intent and outcomes in cancer. Joining us today is Dr. Vidya Kolu, a distinguished specialist in hematology and oncology at the Genesis Health System in the United States, who will shed light on this topic. Welcome, Dr. Kolu. Thank you, Dr. Nigar. I'm excited to be here and discuss treatment modalities and their implications in cancer care. Thank you so much for joining us today on this important topic. Let's begin this topic by talking about the different treatment modalities used in cancer care. Could you provide an overview of the main treatment options available? Certainly. Uh, the main treatment modalities used in cancer care include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy, immunotherapy, and hormonal therapy. These modalities can be used alone or in combination, depending on the type or stage of cancer. Now let's discuss the intent and outcomes of these treatments. Can you explain what it means to be cured in remission or to have progression, relapse, and recurrence in layman terms? Absolutely. Uh, this is very, an important piece of knowledge that uh, the healthcare providers and patients could have when treating a cancer. So when we are talking about being cured, it means that there is no evidence of cancer remaining in the body after treatment. In other words, the patient is considered cancer-free and has a very low chance of the cancer coming back. Being in remission means that the signs and symptoms of cancer have disappeared after treatment. However, it does not necessarily mean that the cancer is completely gone. Regular follow-up and monitoring are required to ensure that the cancer does not return. Progression, relapse or recurrence refers to the return of cancer after a period of remission of or being cancer-free. It indicates that the cancer has started to grow again and has spread to new areas of the body. Thank you for making it clear to our audience, Dr. Koldo. Importance of understanding these outcomes for effective patient education and engagement is very necessary. Now, let's delve into the differences in treatment and outcomes for different types of cancers, such as blood cancers and solid tumor cancers. Could you please elaborate on this? Uh, absolutely. So, blood cancers like leukemia and lymphoma are often treated with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and targeted therapies. The goal of treatment in these cancers is often to get uh, into remission and control the disease. Some blood cancers can be cured with intensive treatments like stem cell transplantation and CAR T cell therapies. Solid tumor cancers such as breast, lung, or colon cancer may require a combination of surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. The treatment intent can vary depending on the stage and type of cancer. In some cases, the goal may be curative, aiming to remove or destroy the cancer completely. In other cases, the treatment may be palliative, focusing on symptom management and improving quality of life, especially in advanced or metastatic cancer. Now, let's discuss the clinical and prognostic implications of these treatment modalities. Uh, certainly. So, the clinical implications of treatment modalities depend on factors such as the type and stage of cancer. For example, surgery is often used for early stage solid tumor cancers with the intent of removing the tumor completely. Radiation therapy can be used to target and kill cancer cells in a specific area. Chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy are systemic treatments that can reach cancer cells throughout the body. Prognostic implications relate to the expected outcome or prognosis for a patient undergoing a specific treatment modality. For example, early stage cancers that are treated with curative intent often have a better prognosis with a higher chance of successful treatment and long term survival. Advanced or metastatic cancers treated with palliative intent may have a more guarded prognosis, but the focus is on improving quality of life and managing symptoms. Thank 
thank you so much, Dr. Koldo, for sharing your insights and your expertise with us today on this very important topic. You're welcome, Dr. Nigar. I'm glad I could contribute to this important discussion on uh, prognosis and uh, the intent of treatments and the various modalities that are used to achieve these goals. Thank you so much. I'm sure that now it's clear for our audience on how these treatments matter and how they can make a big difference in a person's cancer journey. That concludes today's episode of MedSynapse. Remember, the choice of treatment modality depends on the type and stage of cancer, and the goal of treatment can vary from curative to palliative. To access and participate in more discussions like this, we encourage you to become active members on our platform where you can collaborate, discuss, and share your knowledge on important topics with doctors all over the world. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for our next episode. Goodbye for now.